What's up bookworms? This is Danny Reads and today I am bringing you another tag which is the TBR tag. So this tag was created by a profession called the Books Blog. I will link their blog down below with all the questions. Um, I saw this tag on um, Heather from Bookables. Are you surprised? Um, I feel like I get all my tags from her because she's just on a, really, a lot of really good ones. So let's just get into the questions because there's quite a few of them and let's just find out what my answers are. Question number one, how do you keep track of your TBR pile? So the way I keep track of it is by, I have an Excel spreadsheet that has like all the books I own, what I've read, what's not read. Um, I have my um, lesbian romance, like the steamier ones on a separate tab. I have them um, um, organized by uh, page length because um, that usually determines what I'll read depending on if I want to read a long book or a short book. But yeah, so it's all on an Excel, Excel spreadsheet that I just keep track of everything that I own. If I unhaul stuff, I obviously delete it off there. So it's a really, it's for me, it's the best way to keep everything kind of in order. Number two, is your TBR mostly print or eBooks? Print, obviously. I actually don't own a lot of eBooks, maybe 10 to 20. Um, I'm not a huge e-reader. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I get bored more quickly with the, with ebooks. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, I have a handful of books on my e-reader, but nothing. I just, I like print, I like holding the books, I like smelling them. It's just the best way to read for me. Number three, how do you determine what to read from your TBR next? Honestly, I just, I'm a mood reader, so depending on what I'm in the mood for, that's what I'll pick up. Um, if I'm not into it within the first 50 pages, I will put it down and try to pick something else up. Uh, though what I am going to be trying to do now is um, kind of wrap up some series that I have been kind of trying to get through, just to get some of that stuff off my TBR. But yeah, it really just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Number four, name a book that has been on your TBR the longest, and for that, don't kill me. It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have read through the sixth Harry Potter book. Well, technically through two chapters before the sixth book ended. Um, and yeah, for whatever reason, I read it, put it down when I was younger, like when it first came out. I read it all the way to that, closed the book, put it away, never touched it again. So I've been trying to reread the entire series um, for the past couple years I have been, and I've gotten up to book three when I just get into other stuff and then when I go to go back I decide to start from the beginning again. So I've read the first three like a million times but I will get to this and I will read it and I will love it because Harry Potter is life and yeah but yeah this is the longest longest on my TBR. Number five, a book that you've recently added to your TBR and that would be Winger by Andrew Smith. I have heard nothing but really great things about it. All I really know about it is that it takes place at a boarding school which I'm really stoked about. I haven't read a book in like taking place in a boarding school in if ever. It's been a really long time if I have. So I'm really excited to get to this. This is definitely on top of my TBR options. Number six, name a book that is on your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. So for that, I went with the Anna and the French Kiss uh, series. I have read Anna and Lola. I just have to read Isla, which I just actually recently purchased. And honestly, this is probably my favorite cover of the three because one, it's green, so that's like the best color and yeah. I just find it really good looking but I will be reading it so it's not strictly on my TBR just because it's pretty but the nice covers help. Number seven, name a book that you that's on your TBR that you never plan on reading and for that I picked It by Stephen King. I hate things that are scary. His books are huge which also scare me so yeah I don't ever have an intention of reading it but I do own it so it will just sit on my shelf. Number eight, an unpublished book that is on your TBR that you're excited for. And for that, I'm going to say it is Warcross by Marie Lu. Ever since I've heard of it, I'm just super stoked to get my hands on it. I think it comes out in September, so I only have like two months to go. But it is pretty much um, based in this virtual reality. It's this hacker who tries to hack into this game and then ends up succeeding and then you know, things start to happen from there. So I'm really excited to get into that. But yeah, that's definitely 
like my number one that I just like really really want to get my hands on. Number nine, name a book that everyone has pretty much read but you that's on your TBR and for that I am going to say Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Pretty much anything by Leigh Bardugo. I haven't read any of her stuff but I own both her Grisha trilogy and then this duology. Um, I'm super excited to get into it but yeah I feel like everyone but me has read this and I'm going to get to it I promise. Number 10 a book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. So I don't get personal recommendations but from all the booktubers that I watch I get this recommend this is recommended all the time and that is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I started to read it and had to put it down um, but I will get to this I'm really excited I hope that I do get into it I know that the first 50 pages are really really slow and that's the part that I like can't get through so once I have a little less pressure on me to read I will definitely be getting to this number 11 name a book on your TBR that you are just dying to read and for that I am going to say the hate you give by Angie Thomas I'm super stoked to read this um, once I, after all the readathons are over and stuff like that, this is really messing up my white balance. Um, once, I'll just put a picture right here. Once I'm done with all the readathons that I'm participating in and doing a couple other things that I really want to read, this is at the top of the list. I really, really, really want to read it. Um, it's about the Black Lives Matter movement. So I'm just really stoked to get into this. And last but not least, number 12, how many books are on your Goodreads to be read shelf? I honestly have not edited that and I don't ever touch the to read bookshelf on Goodreads, on Goodreads so it's really inaccurate, but the number that's on there is 690. Definitely not that many books. Um, I know that my personal TBR that I own is quite high. Um, it's in like the 300s or whatever, but that's besides the point. But yeah, my Goodreads is not accurate for that. Um, the only thing that my Goodreads is accurate for is for what I've read and my ratings. Other than that, I don't really edit any of it, so maybe that'll be a project for me. But my Goodreads is linked down below, so we should be friends. You should go add me. All right, so that is all the questions that I have for the TBR tag. If you want to do this tag, I tag you to do it. Um, you can either answer them down below in the comments or you can make a video and then comment it so I can check it out. If you have any other tagged suggestions that you want me to do, please let me know down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos frequently on this channel and I will see you in my next one. Keep reading, keep smiling, bye guys.